Hunter Riley. Try the necklace. Olive oil. Matthew. Grayson. Gracie. Gracie. Caroline. David. And my project is a game being controlled with everyday objects. And this is our block printing project. And today we are showing everyone the printing process. We probably couldn't have done any of this without being last. My name is Weston. Caleb Mar Watson. Olivia. Isabel. Rohan. And my project is an intelligent plant watering system. Whenever you're away, there's an app that I made on my phone. You set which soil moisture, and then whenever it's below the soil moisture, it'll water the plants. This is my printer. Called it the GigaPrint. It's seven feet tall. Someone asked me to build them a giant 3D printer, and because I had already built a, a regular size one, and I wanted it a bit more of a challenge. Hi, my name is Sierra. Leah. Gabriel. It's Keisha Miso. Victor, I am in grade six, and this is the M-Bot. The M-Bot has two sensors, which makes it look like eyes and a face. My project was pretty simple. It was to make it go forward and park in one of those parking spots. Um, I'm Jesse Coffin. Uh, I'm Ben Timmons. And this project is a robot soccer field. How the boards work, you're made up of mostly water, and water's a conductor. So when you step on the tin foil, it makes a circuit, and those control the robots. My name's Anna Dixon. My project is the console, an abbreviation for concussion solution. So we decided to create this product to help detect them and help the recovery process happen quicker. We put sensors inside of a cap that can be put inside of any helmet to help prevent secondary concussions and limit the amount of time to recover from a concussion. My name is Zoe Ritchie and I am the tech mentor for Brilliant Labs. We collaborate quite closely with the classroom. If a student-focused, student-led method of teaching was implemented everywhere, I think that a lot of students who have learning difficulties would have had a much easier time. If you've ever wanted to learn something, there's nothing stopping you. Even if you think it's too hard, just do it. There are some skills that I never thought I'd use in life that are coming really in handy right now, just because I went and learned on a whim.